Want to be an expert on what you do? Do you think you can't? But. Research says otherwise. The difference in skill between expert and novice was determined by their practice. That too, deliberate practice, as said by Erickson. It's not about how long you practice, but the quality of your practice that matters. Anyway let's get into the video. In this video, you will get to know about deliberate practice, the contents would be. Having a mentor. Specific goals. Preparation. Target performance. Focused and attention. Pushing from your comfort zone. Feedback. Mental representations. Experimenting and modifying skills. Let's look into each one of them in detail. Having a mentor who is skilled in the field, and also skilled in teaching and guiding you, will help you in advancing your skills a lot. They teach and monitor you, and also guide you to solve your problems yourself with few hints. If you don't have a mentor, then you can observe an expert, listen to their interviews where they share their experiences. Imitate them when necessary. Have a specific goal. You can have a goal of I want to be an expert. But, having a specific goal is even more helpful and effective like, playing a piece of song, to solve a math problem. Having specific goal is crucial as it can measure your performance as pass or fail, an idea on your strengths and weakness. Measuring your performance can help you in analyzing if you are improving or not. Prepare before you start practicing towards the specific goal. Here, preparing means visualizing your practice in detail. Experts visualize their practice in more detail than non-experts. Let's say you want to practice playing a piece of music, you can visualize the position you are holding the instrument, your hand movement, and varying pressure required as you play, and time that is required to play the piece. So, if you practice after visualization, if something doesn't go as you visualized, then you will instantly notice your mistake, self-monitoring becomes effective. After noticing your mistakes through self-monitoring, now you have to improve in those specific areas. That is, target performance. You may have noticed that you make a bit of mistakes where there is change in pressure when playing music. Work towards your pressure control. Or you could have noticed that you make mistakes when there is change in hand movements, then probably you can improve in your dexterity. This may look like making you slow in improvement, but actually, it will save your time in a long run by reducing your time visiting towards basics every time. Be focused and attentive. Quality is also important. You may practice for hours and hours, but, what may be the point if you practice so you can't figure out your own strengths and weaknesses? Maintaining your focus will drain your mental energy, making it not possible to practice for long hours. But don't worry, as you constantly focus, you will be able to focus longer and longer as your brain gets to adapt itself. Short naps is helpful to regain energy after that intense practice. Push yourself out of comfort zone. Here, Comfort zone refers to activity that you can already do automatically without much attention. You practiced a song or any particular aspect of skill so much that it became automatic, so practicing it again and again will not get you to improve. Instead, do something different, something that you have never tried, or didn't focus much before. Especially, trying a new activity that will improve your target performance. Like any hand exercises to improve your finger strength and dexterity to play piano. Doing same thing will lead you nowhere, especially when practiced enough that it became automatic. Feedbacks are valuable. It can either be from a mentor, or from yourself from self-monitoring. Practicing according to your feedback, and analyzing your performance, will get you to understand yourself, and your skill level. Know yourself as much as you can is an important achievement. Then comes mental representations. We all form mental representations, it makes our lives easier. Mental representations, for example, if you were to think about, say, computer, you might think about monitor, keyboard, mouse, gaming, all these in and blink of an eye. Mental representations can differ from a person to a person, if a person who is a developer think of computer, they might think about programming, components of computer and some stuff that are required for them. Experts tend to have longer and quality mental representations than who are not experts. The more in quality mental representations you form, the faster you can learn. If I say any new concept, that was discovered or invented yesterday, and that concept is based on technology. If you are a person who is not much into technology or studies technology in depth, that concept, even if it explained in simple terms, it will be difficult to understand, and most probably won't retain in memory for longer, because for you it is in concept which is not connected to anything. At the same time for someone who studies technology in depth, 
they would have network of information connected with mental representations, hence, even if this is a new concept that they never knew before, it would be easy for them to understand compared to you. Because this new concept will be added to that network of information, hence, they will also retain the information for longer time. This may be the reason that you or someone you know can learn one subject faster and score higher, while not so sharp another subject. Experiment and modify the techniques. Find your own style or a technique suited to you by experimenting bit by bit. Not just to find your own style, but also to overcome obstacles. You will find obstacles in your practice that might be difficult to overcome. Hence, you can experiment, going through trial and error learning as well. Experimenting with your skills in the field is a best way to know and acquire advanced level skills. In this video, we looked into deliberate practice. If you have explored the world or have heard about, there are people who has achieved so much in such a young age, and some people who are unbeatable in their fields. You might call it, inner talent, talent that has been acquired through genes, genetics, and all. Well, it is true, even they should practice intensely, but also they are born with talent as well. So, it is better to choose a field that you have genetic advantage, and invest your time wisely. Of course, at the end, it will be your choice, and it should be. That choice is left to you. You can research on this topic and yourself by yourself. So, for the next video, we will see on genetics influenced behavior and talents, to give you more clarity. Till then, of course, apply what you have learned in this video or perhaps, research yourself by asking questions and learn more about it.